What is up guys, it's Grief Drums back again and I wanted to start off by saying Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I hope you're having an awesome time in these holidays. Today we are going to be taking a look at Lord Chanka and the massive changes that we have seen to him. Obviously now he's got the addition of a shield which has changed how he's being used quite a lot. I still don't think he's a must pick, certainly not on ranked and definitely not in the pro leagues. But I think he's a more viable choice on certain maps, certain objectives, and it's going to be interesting to see how he's used to catch people off guard. With this in mind, I've been coming up against him quite a lot more, and with different operators, it takes a different amount of bullets to take down his shield. Sometimes I can shoot at his shield loads and it just doesn't seem to break, and other times I can shoot at it and it'll just fall apart almost instantly. So with that in mind, I've decided to do some tests thanks to a, a couple of friends of mine that I usually play with, Rob, Jay... Um, and also base all helped me out with this. It took hours to do. We had to literally sit there and test each operator. But we did loads and loads and loads of testing. We did it at angles. We did it straight on. We did it at different ranges. And we did every primary gun for the operators. I didn't do shotguns um, just because I couldn't really test them reliably. And I didn't do pistols just purely because of the fact that if you're going up against a chanker with a pistol, he deserves to win that. But what we did find is that if you shoot the shield at an angle or in front, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. However, due to the damage drop off on different guns, the range can play a factor in how many shots it takes to destroy the shield. But as you can see in the background, we've literally just sat there and tested at 10 meters and at 19 meters here on Bartlett University, how many shots it takes each gun. Now what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and chuck up a table which pretty much breaks down each gun for each operator uh, and how many bullets it actually took rather than you having to be subjected to the entire test. But I was really surprised at how many of the guns were pretty ineffective at taking this shield out and the guns that took it out really easily. For some reason, Glaz's gun drops off at range, which is really strange to see because as a sniper rifle, you'd think the bullet would pick up velocity over range. Kind of like in Battlefield 1, the sniper rifles have a sweet spot where the further you are away, almost the better they become. Interestingly, we did see quite a few trends with the guns. Um, all of the DMRs and obviously Glaz's sniper rifle were the most effective due to the high damage output that they've got. Thatcher's AR-33 fared the worst by a country mile, taking a full 16 shots at both 10 meters and at 19 plus, which was strange to see considering the sheer fact that the damage output on it is 42. Most of the guns in the game sit around about the 40 mark for the assault rifles. So um, to see the fact that Ash's G36 at 38 damage only took 13 shots, and Thatcher's rifle, which has got a higher damage output, took more shots, was strange to see and it wasn't something that really made a lot of sense. To Chanka's shield sitting at 500 HP, you would think that you would be able to divide that directly by the damage output of a gun and that would equate to how many rounds it takes. So if it takes 500 shots, you know, it would take 10 shots at 50 damage to take that shield out. But that doesn't quite seem to work. We managed to, um, to take it out at 484 with certain operators and things like that. So 500 HP is a rough guide. The LMGs, they were also a bit of a strange one. Um, the damage output on most of the LMGs is quite low. Capital's M249 only puts out 33 damage, as well as uh, IQ's G8A1, that was 37 damage. So they obviously took quite a lot of hits to take it out. Um, IQ's was 13 at 10 meters, and I think it was 14 shots at around 19 meters. With Capital, it was 15 and 18, so quite a lot of shots, and definitely on the poorer side of being able to take this out, but obviously that's counteracted by the fact that you can put that number of rounds onto the shield in a lot quicker succession than you can with the majority of other operators. Fuse's LMG, however, fared really well. With a damage output of 49, I expected it to do reasonably well, but uh, after seeing the other LMGs, I wasn't so sure. Um, at the time, I didn't know the damage output of the gun. I wasn't paying too much attention to it. But uh, yeah, really, really good. So if you're going up against the Lord, Fuse is probably your man. For all of these stats, don't forget that if you have a suppressor on your gun, it is going to change the damage output and therefore will throw them all out. We did a lot of testing with uh, the different attachments you can have, compensators, muzzle brakes and stuff like that. The only attachments that affected anything were obviously the suppressor dropping the damage or if you're using an extended barrel, it stops the fall off from being so bad. So if your operator uses a gun which takes more shots at range, 
that won't be the case if you're using the extended barrel. Anyway, hopefully this video helps you if you come up against the Lord. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless. So